after Democrat blames incoming missile alert on Trump, Sarah gives her brutal surprise. Hawaii's citizens were putting their kids into storm drains after an incoming ballistic missile emergency message went out to cell phones and across television screens late Friday afternoon. Hawaii's Democratic Congresswoman, Tulsi Gabbard, blamed President Donald Trump for the false alarm. Gabbard, along with leftist journalists, claimed Trump is responsible for all the panic of an impending nuclear attack, and that's when Sarah Sanders gave the Congresswoman a brutal surprise. President Trump is so demonized by the Democrats and the mainstream media that no matter what the issue, Trump is to blame. The widespread Trump blaming hate fest gets a little old, and this situation in Hawaii is a perfect example. Apparently, on Friday afternoon Hawaii time, an alert went out to all cell phones, and the dreaded emergency services announcement even came across TV. On cell phones, the alert read, Ballistic Missile Inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. Okay, so this is scary stuff, there's no argument there, but to blame this on Trump? Wow, it seems the president's powers are quite extensive if he can reach buttons in Hawaii even when he is physically in Washington, D.C. Hawaii's naughty representative Tulsi Gabbard blamed Trump for the false missile alert in Hawaii that made millions panic. She says it's his fault because he hasn't done what a handful of presidents before him had not been able to do either, solve North Korea, reports the right scoop. The report goes on, in any case, given that some idiot in Hawaii just pressed the wrong button and panicked millions, maybe Tulsi should look after her own in the state before casting aspersions on the president. That's exactly what we think too. This is a Democrat-run state. So look no further than to the leftist elected officials if we are going to cast blame. But, there's more. The mainstream media helped Gibbard out by taking it a step further, implying Trump's team in the Situation Room is lacking experience in emergency matters, like incoming ballistic missiles. Twitchy reported, yesterday after some Hawaiian pushed a magic button that sent out an emergency alert that a missile was inbound. Many people on the left were looking for any and every way to blame Trump. Twitchy adds, even though Trump had nothing to do with this accident and states are responsible for their own emergency systems. And really, it's adorable watching the left pretend they understand the first thing about defense or what America should do if we are ever, God forbid, under attack. Like this article from Politico, White House scrambles after false missile warning in Hawaii. The article Twitchy is referring to from Politico reported, the U.S. government hasn't tested these plans in 30 years. All the fresh faces sitting around the table in the Situation Room have little idea what their roles would be in this scenario. Well, that was all it took for White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders to drop a brutal surprise on the heads of these nasty leftists. Sanders responded to the growing lies from the left which were started by the congresswoman from Hawaii along with Politico's laughable report, by tweeting, General Kelly, General Mattis, General McMaster, General Kellogg, and General Waddell, some of the greatest military leaders of their generation, are fresh faces. Doubt Isis would agree. Boom. There was no ballistic missile heading for Hawaii, but the press secretary dropped her own truth bomb, quickly annihilating Rep. Gabbard and Politico's lame article. Let's be clear. National security is not the Democrats' strong point, we all know that. Yet, the Democrats in Hawaii and elsewhere want Americans to believe that Trump is crazy and that he will start a nuclear war with North Korea. However, if North Korea goes off, it is something that has been coming for a long time and has nothing to do with Trump. In fact, who sat by and watched for eight years as Kim Jong-un got closer and closer to his goal of becoming a real nuclear threat. That's right, Barack Obama and his Democrat colleagues. Who gave Iran the green light to become a nuclear state? Barack Obama. The hot mess President Donald Trump finds himself in is rooted in inept Democrat leadership, which failed to put America first. The Obama sickness that spread throughout government didn't in the moment Trump took office. The swamp runs deep in Washington, D.C., but luckily, the president is willing to drain the scummy swamp of all its loathsome creatures as he makes America great again, great again.